I mean, I think it's really fair to refer to them as royalty, yes? They're good, Lisa. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 19 days until they open the season with Cortland, and that game is on November 11th, and it's at home. Hopefully, Newswatch 16 Sports can be there. With that 28-3 and record, Ben O'Brien took the Lady Royals to an Elite Eight last year. Before that, Nick DiPillo, a sweet 16. Trevor Woodruff, a Final Four, and Mike Strong, that national championship in 85. Eve Hernandez takes a look inside this Royal dominance. The Lady Royals reached the Elite Eight last year. After losing to New York University, this team is hungry for more. The team does return most of their starters from last season. One of the things most forefront on their mind heading into week one is the fact that they have unfinished business. Unfinished business is something that comes to mind. Certainly, uh, we had a very successful season last year, but we're looking we're we're looking to build on it. Um, you know, we're looking to um, learn from 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 what happened last year, and we're looking for more this year. Honestly, it just like pumps us up. You know, he is such a great motivational speaker. So like him and his uh, pep talks before games just really pumps us up. He's just great with like the mental aspect of the game, and that's just like a big part um, that you see in games. All American junior guard Casey Cranston returns in the backcourt for the Lady Royals. Cranton was the conference's defensive player of the year a season ago. Team captains Allie Lynch and Kiera Quigley are also back for their fifth seasons. Every season's new though. It's, it's, it's you know, none of the points that we scored last year are going to count this year. So uh, we're starting, we're starting fresh, but uh, a lot of uh, familiar faces, um, maybe some roles changing, but we're excited and we're looking forward to it. We want to be relentless. We want to be resilient. We, if things aren't going our way, we know defense is going to pick us up. You know, coach, um, scheduling really tough and competitive uh, teams for us in the preseason and the non-conference games, I really feel that will help us grow as individuals and as a team collectively. We've we've definitely accomplished a lot in, in the past and even this year alone. We've, we've made great strides, but there's always something left to do. Knowing what we did last year and what a special group we have this year to take it even farther, we're just, we're unfinished business. Eve Hernandez, Newswatch 16 Sports, Scranton.